What up, my fellow, my fellow Nick fans, and what's going down? And we got some shit to talk about. You know, I thought I'd you know do a quick video on some of our fans out here, just trying to gain attention, and you know the type of Nick fans that sell their fandom, and the you know people like the well. Porzingis kid, even though he's a kid, with fans like that, we need to start getting rid of these motherfuckers, man. Like, this is a bad look. There are so many shitty franchises in the NBA that, you know, that don't do anything. Like the Minnesota Timberwolves, 20 years of, like, top five draft picks. And you don't see their fans, you know, creating, you know, going viral for selling their fandom. And, you know, I'm not even gonna say the guy's name, but, you know, a certain Nick fan, he sold his fandom on eBay for about $3,000, which I don't know why anyone would buy. But, you know, just to gain attention, man, like, you know, we are in an attention-seeking era, but we gotta get rid of these motherfuckers and start denouncing them. And, you know, I don't know, New York media is so hungry, they pick up on shitty stories like this. You know, the Knicks haven't really gotten bad press, but, you know, this one fan just, like, just puts this negative aura around the team, around the base. Not feeling that at all, man. Like, get the fuck out of here with this type of shit. We need to get the strap on these type of motherfuckers, man. Because this is not a good look at all. And so basically, this guy sold his fandom on eBay for, thir for about 3500 And actually, the other guy who purchased his fandom was looking to go viral for his YouTube channel. So this is a bunch of corny shit all around. You know, really not feeling this. The franchise is kind of headed in the right direction. You know... Most of the city overall trying to stay positive, you know. Basically, when the Knicks are popping, we all know we all know what's good. The whole city's popping. The whole NBA is talking about us. The whole league is popping. We're the only team that makes the whole league seem more appealing when we're popping off. Let's not all front about it. But at the end of the day, this guy—I don't even want to say his name. I'm gonna include the link below because they they did do an interview on on him basically. Uh, shout out to the Nothing But Knicks YouTube channel. They did an interview on the guy. And, you know, a lot of that crew, the members of that crew, they questioned the guy on his fandom. You know, this guy is rocking a Lakers jersey, you know, basically talking about why he's selling his fandom and all types of crap. I mean, this guy is worth no promotion. I mean, shame on New York media for even covering this bullshit. And even shame on James Dolan for even acknowledging you know, this guy selling his fandom. This is this is the type of corny shit we need to get rid of as Knicks fans. I am not feeling this shit. I know most of the city ain't feeling this shit. Just most overall, the Knicks fan base ain't feeling it. So, let me know what you think about this dumbass right here, man. I mean, this guy is just... It's very questionable, man. The next day, he throws on a Laker jersey. Like, this bandwagon guy. Come on, man. I mean, I'm pretty sure he was a, a long-time Knicks fan. But right now, he just looks bandwagon as fuck. So, you know, let's get rid of these type of Knicks fans and not give them no clout. The people that go to the games and pay the expensive tickets and they have bags over their heads. What is this bullshit, man? Don't go to the games if you feel that way. I mean, keep everything in-house. I mean, we are the fucking Knicks, man. When we're popping, like I said, the whole league is popping. So let me know what you think. Check out, you know, the info below. I'm going to include the link on the interview. This guy who sold his fandom, you know, did, did with the Knicks. Um, I'm going to shout out the Knicks, this Knicks channel. Nothing but Knicks. That's a good channel to get some info on the Knicks. But overall, this is this is sad, man. We need, we need, to, we need to get rid of this shit, man. Because most of fans like this, they get upset at the Knicks. And it's for, it's for, it's for the, all the wrong reasons. This guy is also, he said he's upset because... They, they trade, they didn't get Michael Porter in the draft. It's just a bunch of nonsense, man. The team has been making excellent moves as of late under new management. And, you know, pretty much all summer, the, the, the only negative light to the Knicks is this guy selling his fandom. And, you know, in, a, in this type of media age where, you know, these outlets are just looking for clickbait, this is a perfect clickbait, but Knicks fans overall as like a, as like, you know, the aura of the Knicks took an L on this uh, this situation. Why this guy made a $3,500 come up. Not worth it. We should all shun this guy out the out, out the Knicks fan base. You know what I mean? Just just overall. Like, this guy... And, and when he does this interview with Nothing But Knicks, the YouTube channel, he basically keeps saying, we, 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 we. He's acting like he's still a fan. 
while wearing this Lakers jersey talking about we, we, we. Like, get the fuck out of here, man. At the end of the day, y'all already know what it is, man. Check out, check out, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm gonna include the link. Check out the info below. We also have a weekly playlist, nothing but, you know, current, dope new artists around New York City pumping out great music. You know, New York City never lost their, their, their music swag. You know what I'm saying? Just the radio stopped promoting it. So check out that playlist below. It gets updated weekly. Nothing but, you know, New York City music, New York, New York City um, culture overall. So, you know, you guys enjoy yourselves. Fall's about to, you know, you know, fall's about to come through. You know, preseason's about to start. We just gotta get rid of all this negative energy, y'all. Y'all stay safe. Peace.